Oh no, I'm not doing that. Oh my, yeah. This one has, this one has broken me. Oh, as I said it. His helmet camera captures the terrifying disfigured apparition standing right behind him. Anything goes, you know this year just gonna blow like I won't have it, you won't manage, so I'm real, I'm sad like magic. People, anything goes here, back again with another ghost reaction. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing as always. Hitting us up in those I'm comments. I'm so glad that's only your thing and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting us up in those comments. Oh, see? Oh. You love to do it. Liking, sharing and subscribing as always. Do Trying what? to support us even further. Do what? Today, we got Nuke's top 10. Oh, top 10. Mm -hmm. Top 10 scary ghost videos to cry yourself to sleep. Yeah, that, that's why I'll, I'll be crying tonight. Ooh. And get to blame it on Nuke this stuff today. <laughs> Currently uh, uploaded all of... 40 minutes ago? Cool. It's a long one now. Mm -mm. It's not as long as the top 20s we were doing, but we were splitting them up. Yes, we was. Yeah. Yeah, you don't smoke that on camera, do you? Getting too comfortable. We don't smoke on camera, do we? What is done? Not... I mean, you, because there's no way I don't smoke. What? Huh? Whatever, man, you smoke glizzies. Let's start this. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. The ghost in room one. Hey, Nuke, for doing 10 years old. Russ is a certified nursing assistant working in an undisclosed hospital in North Carolina. So early one morning, Russ is called in to monitor an emergency surgery. While on the operating floor, he takes a look at the CCTV camera feeds and notices something truly bizarre in another operating room that's supposed to be empty. Sure, this place is f***ing haunted. Let me show you something, bro. Alright, so look. This is channel one. That's room one, right? thing was standing in the f***ing corner. Did you see it on that? Room one is I feel like he zoomed in a little bit too late. Door. Nobody's in here. We got people in room three doing surgery, but nobody's in here. Look. I've been chilling at the desk, and this thing said movement detected. We got people in here, but not room one, and that thing is gone. <laughs> Yeah, I see what it's about. translucent figure that seems to be wearing a hospital gown oh, can be seen standing yeah. in room one, a hospital room used for C-sections. Russ explains that only room number three was in use for surgery at the time, Why would it... while room number one, this room, was completely Might be empty. A stupid thing to say, actually. No one was there, nor was anyone even say, allowed why would in there. A room Russ where they believes the hospital to be haunted. But what mm -hmm. do you think? Could this be the ghost of a patient who didn't survive, stuck forever inside the hospital? Let me know. What? The Weeper. Uh, that's a terrifying thought still. Yeah, the thought's worse than the video. Yeah. Just because the idea of a C-section going wrong and you being stuck there forever. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, be careful when you have yours. For the a little over a year ago, a Japanese man who goes by the name Yamaha. Oh, can we just not? It's just nine out of ten. Um, he found a nice forty-year-old renovated guy to house Japan. in Japan with an incredibly low rental price. Yama was blown away, and he happily signed the rental contract right away. As you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the Every house bathroom from an undisclosed house in Japan is just Only a four months That's after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. I can just 
see a reflection. Why is he? Yamaku yeah, starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasing Why is these, um, activity around his home. Bathroom look like like a nightclub toilet or something. Is he leaving? I think we're gonna go check if he's on the window. Oh no, I'm not doing that. It's quite interesting to see that though, isn't it? To see what? You acted like I'm looking. No, I mean to see a different approach as to try and figure out what the hell's going on. Everyone usually just goes through the door and it stops. Whereas he, he went round and opened the window. Night after night, a mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamaku is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. It's in the attic. One night, Yama is a bit disturbed when a neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The Jeez. dog is usually quiet and friendly. But this time, it seems distressed by something. Could he just get any more stuff in his house to make scary videos with? The dog aggressively growls and barks at something Yama can't see. The next day, he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home, safe and sound, and friendly as always. But that certainly isn't the end of Yamaku's paranormal problems. Only nine months after moving in, he experiences something nine truly months. terrifying. Oh, here we go. Whenever Luke's is truly terrified. Oh, we've seen this bit. It did, but it wasn't this clear before. When we see this before, Bring the Sammy with you. A blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yamaku's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomena. Yama orders a thermal imaging camera and waits for his next opportunity to record and capture what's going on in his home. Something in my and life. this is where things take a turn towards the truth. That's truly a shame, I can't walk. Because one month later, something in my eye. this happens. Again? I think that's the one we watch. It wasn't this clear when we watched it, but like, the sound wasn't it, as clear no, when we've no, seen no. it before on whatever channel we watched it on. Oh, there's going to be someone standing there in the thermal imaging. Did he boil a pot of water to throw at someone? I've never heard that one before. So close. It's like right on top of him. That is like next to him. Like The water disappears, by the way. 
Nice try, Bob. Everything making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown. And then... The water goes quiet. is on the floor. But no, no. On the on the thermal imaging, imaging but it's not on the like it's been These edited days, out. There's no, the floor's not wet after it's frozen. Nice, nice try, guys. Oh, well, you think that's because it's fake? And yeah. They just oh, show not up that it hit something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's edited. Because why does the water not uh, why does the water not hit the floor after? There would be some water on the floor, no? Throw a bucket of water at me and make every single drop of that water hit me. There's no way, there's always going to be a video floor. And you can see it. The on the phone, we'll do it when the video is on. shares on his YouTube page that sadly, he'll be uploading less often. To this day, Yamakyu still experiences horrifying events at his haunted home in Japan. But, is it real? Could the wailing voice and aggressive knocking be the spirit of the previous owner who passed away in the bathroom? Let me know what you think. Mirror? I was I mean, all in, yeah, until the water threw in. Because what I was saying is, on the thermal video... You see it go left. The, the water hits... You can see the water on the floor. Yeah, on the left. Yeah. Yeah. But on the actual video, the water never hits the floor. So what does it hit? It like It's edited out. It gets, like, mid-air, and it just disappears in mid-air. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't... It Like, if, if you threw a bucket of water at me, the majority of the water might hit me, but some would still show up on the floor. And on the thermal video, there's like a, a patch a patch of wet on the floor. But on the actual video, the water just disappears in the Let's go back. Because what I thought it was different to the other side. Because you can see the splatter on one side. And okay, so you see on the left. Yeah. You see the splatter on the right. Yeah. Like, you can see the like where it's hit the floor on yeah. in the actual video yeah and you can see that as well on the thermal yeah but on the actual video that patch of orange on the left yeah. where the water's hit the floor <coughs> is not in the main video yeah but you couldn't see it anyway you can this that's that's showing up the same no what i'm saying is look at look at the state of the the the, the normal camera yeah but look how look how dark that that patch of water is on the right so you would see it if it was on the left but you can't even tell if that's on the thing that he lives on no, it's not because look, it's it's not there when he throws it's the water. The noise seems to cry out as the it's only there after stone. the water hits the floor. Yeah, but look at what it, it is. The quiet. grass is there. No, but that's what I'm. Look, watch the. You see this patch on the left? Yeah. It's only there. It's you can tell it's the water hitting the floor, so you should be able to see that on that camera as well because you can see the water on the right. The water shows up dark enough on the the tarmac or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. You should be able to see it on that, the actual camera. The spot where the weeping voice seems to be coming from. But you can see the blood watch. No, but uh, no, look. Look how dark is look how dark that is, and there's just nothing there on the left. Because it's landed on this thing. Yeah, no, you should you'd still see that though. How? What is what is that? Look how far out it comes. It should be like here. Well what I'm saying is. It's not far away from the patch on the left. That's just another state. So what so what's this gap? This is what I'm more. That's just where the video like just where the water didn't go. Like as he threw it. He kind of throws it like. Yeah, but the water's now gone like this. Yeah, but it's because it's edited it out. Okay. It might not be, but to me, just the way this, you can see it clearly and how dark the water is on the floor, and it's just not showing up on the actual video when on the thermal it's right there. Yeah, no, I get. Like even I get, even I get, I get what even you're as saying. even as he throws it, it's like you see how the water kind of just does what water like. Does. Yeah, the water hits something like this way a little bit, but on the left, the water that doesn't hit anything kind of just this like vanishes. Voice what? seems to be coming from like the water more this way just just vanishes, doesn't hit anything. It just Whatever's... disappears. So that's my thoughts anyway. Now, now that I've tried to debug that, Nuke's gonna go. Ha! Huh? Watch this. Oh, this is called Mirror Mirror as well. So. Mirror. Have fun. Paranormal investigator Amy from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK <sighs> TV is joined by fellow ghost hunters Moxley's Paranormal and Ghosts on Trent as they stay at the infamously haunted 30 East Drive in Pontefract, England. I think this is Conjur uh, Conjuring Two House. Ago, on this very same location, a mom was hanged for taking no, the life of a young girl. This is the number. The house is not, said uh, to be haunted by one. his angry spirit, which they call the Black Monk. 
throughout the house, there are CCTV cameras installed. They changed the ghost in their actual conjuring too, because they changed it to the non. As Amy simply looks at herself in the upstairs bedroom mirror. But this is the house that it's based on. It's in Enfield or whatever, isn't it? Pontefract. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. It looked exactly like it outside. Amy's face appears to distort into a horrifying gaping maw. Her mouth opens up to such an impossible extent that the investigators believe that they might have captured a paranormal transfiguration. The video is definitely very creepy and doesn't appear to be a digital glitch. But just what do you think happened here? She even Let sees me know it. down in the comments. You can watch the full two-part investigation at the Haunted 30 East Drive over on the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV. The demon. Agreed, you're um, now looking in the mirror again. Let us know that in the comments. I might have got that wrong because it did say Pontifact, didn't it? Pontifact. But the, it looked from the outside exactly like the Enfield house that's in The Conjuring 2. That's what I just noticed, like the front door and everything just looks exactly the same because I've seen people do ghost hunts there as well. So no. I might be wrong. Just no. So let us know if I'm... No. Let us know I'm if I'm telling wrong. you now. What? No. What? No. What? What are you saying no to? Enfield house, no. Oh, I'm not, I'd never go there. I'm not going to actual places that films are based on for being haunted. <laughs> are you joking? I've seen like, like ghost adventures and like proper ghost hunting programs go there. There's no way I'd ever go anywhere it's near too it. It's too close to come. It's like down the road as well. <laughs> it's like half hour away. No way. But, um, yeah, she kind of noticed. But she like turns and I don't know if she like sees that her face isn't quite right and then she like leans in closer and that's when that because she like turns to the mirror and then she sort of leans into the mirror as if to see like what is that and then Yeah but the whole does. the whole scene looks like it's like did I just see that in the mirror? Then looks her mouth the goes like the bloody um in I Am Legend. The vampires oh, or whatever okay, they are yeah. in that when they scream like yeah. You say it like there's not a million scary there, films there is but that's, that's just the first image that comes to my head when I see her mouth go like that oh. supernatural investigator Cody Aaron says in his YouTube and TikTok videos that he doesn't believe that ghosts are real or at least that they aren't the lingering spirits of humans instead he believes that all paranormal experiences are actually demonic in nature Cody says that he has successfully helped troubled families struggling with demonic presences for years so when a family member reaches out to Cody about the terrifying activity occurring in their office building, the concerned investigator doesn't hesitate to offer a helping hand. But what he encounters in this office building even takes him by surprise. Cody records as he explores the creepy empty office space at night. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own. And that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know. Oh my, yeah. Nothing here this time. I, Did you even see it? I've not seen no, anything. No, I just saw a door move. Uh, I, I hate these videos. It's Is that a mirror? Six, and usually oh. everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I my whole body has just gone cold. That's what it is, and I'm just gonna call it a day. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what. We'll <sighs> oh, you're just like okay. So uh, I'm the only one Can here we just right not now. Look in the mirror again, and please. the door just closed. Was that a mirror? Yeah, oh, it was, and there was something in it. As soon as I see it, my, my body just wanted to, uh, to have a seizure. Oh. That's actually like, I'm actually gonna cry myself to sleep tonight now. Did you see it? Oh my, Could now I saw it. Unaware of what appears to be a small girl standing right but the door's behind doing... him. When he walks into the room the figure appeared in, a door behind him slams shut. After reviewing his spooky footage, the investigator decides to return for another night. And it did not go well. So, all of these green lights means that there's no motion, right? 
look in this room what in the world is that hmm. that is insane I have never seen something like this this is directly beside me in the next room hmm. what do you think that looks like did you see that it disappeared I can't what tell in if the it's world the f- same face like coming in and out okay. of like the shadow but why would the face I'm just be doing this I, I have to see what this is see and look I just can't I just... here is the motion detection for me in this room there I am on the screen there's no motion detect look look it's moving and there's no motion detection right there that is nuts look at that So we have to go in there. Let's do it. This one has this one has broken me. Oh, as I yeah, said it. I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. Uh, I'm not gonna do this by myself. Cody is shocked when suddenly a loud voice yells, "Leave!" <laughs> so could it be that the office building is haunted by a demonic presence, or could it all just be an elaborate hoax? <laughs> You decide. <laughs> you can check out more paranormal moments over on Cody Aaron's TikTok page and YouTube channel. Signs and signals. I'm gonna go and call that crazy demon. Actually, let's finish this. Um, I would check, but the size of my goosebumps might be looking like muscles right now. So, nope. This is what I get. This is what I get for trying to debunk one before the video is finished. Immediately. How is that number seven? It's meant to be top ten. Yeah, but look how long... That that one was one of the worst ones we've seen for a while. I feel like I've been quite good lately with these videos. Not get, But the face in the mirror got me and then I thought it was going to just be like the door would shut again. That rarely ever happens, by the way. What? That is, it's just that simple. <laughs> it's never just that simple. Yeah, but it's also not... <laughs> <laughs> also, I was going to say, like, oh, he just thinks that every ghost is a demon. He doesn't think that people are ghosts. That's quite like a pessimistic way to, to look at ghosts. Just to think that every ghost experience is... Demonic. A demon, and then that yeah, happens. No wonder. Hmm. I would as well. Have... Also, if I see a face in the mirror behind me, I'm not going back. <laughs> and then she says, "Leave," and he said, "I'm not doing this alone." So you're gonna go back again. There's gonna be a next. You're gonna take someone else to get eaten. Oh, thank you, Cody. Oh. Ghost hunters Dave and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals were contacted by one of their viewers about a home that they were renovating. I was going to say they've possibly seen this During one. They, they usually go to the church, and it is too. Knocking mm-hmm. and banging, and objects seem to mysteriously move around all on their own. The renovators got so spooked that they put a complete stop to the project. Nice. The house has been sitting empty ever since, <gasps> with no hope of it ever being sold. Dave and Dell head out to investigate the house and search for a possible cause for the unexplained terrifying events. As soon as the guys arrive and step out of their car, they already hear strange banging sounds coming from inside the dark, creepy house. I got it, I got it, I got it. Look, look, look. You hear that, right? Yeah. It's just... Dude, I'm not going in there. Those, those you are out of your mind if you think I'm going in there. Dude, they, that's what they say they hear in here. But damn, yeah, I know. That's. It's all like what we heard Where's before. Where's the flashlight? You got the flashlight? I need a flashbang, bro. Get that bag. Get the bag. Nothing could ever. What the f, man? Ever push me past this point. Well, you think get this part. I don't think you'll get this part. Come on, man. I know he ain't about to go in here. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know, dude. What, what are we supposed to do? 
She said this was like the problem that was going on. Well, she said there were bangs like this? Yeah, I mean, she said that the cruise was getting run up by bangs and things moving around and shit. Hell yeah, brother. Go get some ghosts. If this is paranormal and thing, then head. we need to have this on camera. Didn't he say it was under construction? Yeah, they looked it looks like, like everyone had tools in their hand. They went <laughs> and run out. Dear Dale, there's like a table on its side and stuff. Yo. Hello. Anybody in here? Yes. Dave and Dale looked through the entire house and find nothing. If I ever did that, no one I open that door and said hello. And so I went hello. I'd put my whole head through that door. Weird. You can see it's just fresh. I just don't trust anything now. That last video has just broken me for the rest of this. I believe. The mirror. Leave me alone. At this point, you don't know where you're going as well. You haven't been in this building before, so you're just running through While exploring random the rooms, doors. Loud banging absolutely scares the sh out of the two ghost hunters, and then make a run for it. I don't think I've heard anything. Before they can even get out, a heavy hallway door slams shut right in front of them. After uploading their video to YouTube, many viewers requested that the two investigators head back to the haunted house one final time. Slightly terrified, the two friends agree. When they are about to enter the building through the front door, Dave hears mm, something. Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn it. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Sound like you scared it out yourself. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Dave tries to joke around as they are about to enter the house, but both of the guys are feeling quite a bit nervous. <laughs> Once inside, the two friends search through the entire house, checking every room. But, well, nothing happens and no one's there. But then, they hear something horrifying. Oh, not again, Mara. I know you're f***ing with me, dude. Is that, oh, that ain't no stairs, that's back there. Listen. Yep, time to go. What, did you hear mobile or, mo like, baby mobile or, uh... Uh, jewelry box or whatever it is, it is time to go. Because when it stops, you know that moment that it stops? That's when someone runs in and bites your face off. It's going to stop when it opens the door. Why is it echoing that loud? Hey, it stopped. It's time to leave. Oh, it's still going. I'm gonna have the flu tomorrow because I've just not stopped shivering. I don't understand. Obviously, just because 
that's the editing side but it's like what makes you brighten up that part no Nuke does it Nuke's the one who does it I know it. what makes him do it because he knows it's there already before he edits it Nuke's not the one that finds those shadow figures in the background that, that, that that's like when they upload their video it will like they the people that watch it put it in the comments and then they send it into Nuke so uh, Nuke already knows it's there knows to brighten that part up yeah. it's very rare that Nuke's the one that like every now and then yeah, but in general who, who's why are you brighten because people that watch these videos like religiously have got the brightness turned up and stuff so they can catch things out innit like people comb through videos like that to try and find things that they didn't Debunk. notice yeah basically yeah but it's, yeah it's very rare like it, Nuke will say if he's the one that picks it out he'll say like I've managed to pick out something that viewers didn't know whatever. Well, this is good. There's only five left. Yeah, there are quite a couple of longer ones. Longies. I would say it's good like, because there's five left. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, just a normal nukes video to go now. A high school student from Boswell, Pennsylvania is walking home from her friend's house late one night when she begins to notice someone is following her. Fearing the worst, the girl takes out her phone and begins to record as she gathers her courage and turns to confront her unknown stalker. Huh. Okay. What she sees shocks her to the core. Oh, can we just not with the horror movie stuff all the time? Who's there? Oh, what is that? A humanoid light creature with glowing eyes stands up on two legs before seemingly beginning to chase her on all fours. Luckily, the high school girl got Split. away unharmed. Left with only nightmares about the terrifying encounter. It kind of very strange video. So what do you think can be seen in this footage? Is it an unknown creature, or maybe it kind just of runs person off rather than runs after it? Runs and, uh, that way. Glowing eyes. Either way, you decide. Who's there? I told you it'd be quick. You know what I'm gonna say it wasn't it? Chupacabra? No, I think it's a. Uh... That was a chupacabra. No, it's probably a. What are they called? Cats? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In this next creepy video, a man on a bicycle can be seen making his way through the streets of a town somewhere in Japan. A camera mounted to his bike helmet captures something absolutely terrifying. No one there. Yep, no one there. Look how bad this editing is, by the way. I mean, editing the video is as well. It's not like... Potato. Why is it still going? Potato. Why'd it get... Does she appear again? Because he's like, at home now. The man slams on his brakes when suddenly a woman appears out of nowhere at the corner. However, when he turns around, the woman mm. has disappeared. Mm. Later, when he arrives at his destination, his helmet camera captures the terrifying disfigured apparition standing right behind him. I'm not doing anything. What happened to the man is a mystery. Could the strange figure be the spirit of a traffic accident victim out for revenge on whoever crosses her path? Unfortunately, as with most Japanese videos, the source on I'm this one is completely unknown. <laughs> so we'll just never know. Lurks. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Nuke never puts those videos in. That's like the free X or something. That's what he'd put in. The first bit was bad enough. I thought it was just going to be like, because he like ride straight through her. I'm just not doing it anymore. Sit down. Look, have a, have a sip of juice or something. I'm not happy about this. Yeah. He rides through her and she's not there. And I was like, oh, and then you could hear my panic setting. I was like, wait, why is it still going? Why is it darker? Oh, he's at home. I could just like, my brain started to say this, it's not normal for him to get 
the Ollie's way home and it happens and the video is still going and he's at home now. That man died. He died. Yeah? Yeah. He died. You ate him. <laughs> you ate him there and then. So what? So his bike is still locked up or, yeah. or it's been stolen? There's just a helmet <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> it's my re- it's resignation. <laughs> Paranormal investigator L from the YouTube channel K and L Ghost Hunters travels to the historic Smethwick Mass in Birmingham, England. The swimming center was built in the 1930s and used as an air raid shelter and morgue during the Second World War. Underneath the building, there's an elaborate system of tunnels. Now, during the construction of these tunnels, over 300 bodies were found buried here. All of them were victims of the plague that swept through the country during medieval times. With such a long, dark history, it's really no surprise that the building and the tunnels are said to be haunted. One particular angry spirit has been reported to be aggressive towards women. Elle is completely alone down in the tunnels when she captures if something. If your hair is that white, you're going to get haunted. So here I am, it's nothing but. Oh my own, no K. Okay. He's got a bad tooth. Yeah. And now, another tunnel. Why is there so much behind action to the... Whoa. I didn't mean to sound like that. Why is there so much... Um, selfie action happening? Probably... Probably safer, isn't it? She's... Oh my god, she's being followed. She's Let's pa- rewind and look at that again. She's panicking as well. She's being followed. No, that walks across rather than follows her. It, you can Who see the panic in her eyes from what she's hearing as well. Does not have a torch. There is a low-hanging pipe here. I'm five foot three, and I have to duck down. So either this is a very short person or a child. But let's be clear: children are not allowed in this part of the building, or indeed on a paranormal investigation. Oh, she walked back towards it. As the site is a health and safety nightmare, I had to receive permission to walk the tunnels on my own. Without a torch, the chances are that you will probably hit your head on one of the low pipes or slip down one of the massive drains. A dark figure can be seen walking behind Elle without a flashlight, yet somehow effortlessly maneuvering around the low-hanging pipes and dangerous open drains. No people. Could it be that this is the dark spirit that has a hatred for women, stalking Elle as she explores alone? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel KNL Ghost Hunters. Caught on CCTV. Yeah, when I said followed, I didn't really mean like, you know, chased. I yeah. mean, just being watched. There was definitely noises happening, innit? Because I feel like that's why she started walking away because she Heard. started hearing noises and it looked like she was mm. panicking a little bit. And then these bloody they, cats just get everywhere, don't they? I mean, if they ain't got a home, they got to find somewhere to live. All these cats that keep walking around on their back legs as well, it's weird. Yeah. The front-facing camera might be the worst thing ever invented. Why? Just because it's the scariest perspective to see when there's... No reason to be looking behind you. Yeah. Na- naturally, it's like, you, you get, yeah, you get like, to see the panic. Like the worst invention. <laughs> like, front-facing camera, spork atom bomb like in that order <laughs> you put the atom bomb bird yeah because spork is worse this next creepy video was sent in to me by a nukes top 5 viewer but after further contact I was never able to determine a direct source viewer Yul Pedroso claims that this footage was captured by CCTV um... cameras in Guam the video shows a few cars parked outside a building. With someone watching the CCTV feed. Someone let us know where Guam is, please. Is he not going to oh, say? This is something truly disturbing. Pedro is a bit. Oh, yeah, that was of a... 
Because I was about yeah, to say, we haven't had any no manners yet. But yeah, I, yeah. I like, know what she was going to say. I feel like Guam yeah, might... Yeah, what the fuck is that? Stop standing on the car. Yeah, yeah. Top of the car. Is that so the video still playing? The kids are adults. Yeah. Is the video still playing? Uh, the time's changing. I think he's forward, fast forwarding yeah, it and forwarding it. He's just breathing. I see a Dwayne's before it was smaller than him. And a little bit like chop, you know. It's just like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's in the hood. He's on the hood of the car. In the hood and the windshield. You got one foot on the windshield. See that? Yeah, 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 you go up again. So clear. You go up again on the roof. Yeah. There's too much. Hold it's doing like everything. Weird. Weird. Yeah. See if he's got a. Yeah, I, I'm getting a bullet head now. See if he's got footprints on the top. Okay, yeah, where's your phone? Can you call her up? Yeah. You know what I'll say? On the side of my eyes, I saw somebody going like this, right? Real quick. And then all of a sudden, I can say, Why is it turning into such weird shapes? Like. Uh, That's what you're asking. Yeah. Is it in your hand? No, I've got like. So ink. I think it's a scratch or something from my tattoo. Yes, it goes. Someone suddenly appears to be standing on top of a car. Whoever or whatever it is on the CCTV footage seems to move about in a very strange way, almost as if weightless. Then the figure slowly disappears. Nah, man. That, was, that don turns into Raiden. have no explanation for what's happening. So, what do you think? Or is it Cinder? Could this be One a really them. strange video glitch? Is it a hoax? And if so, why would someone risk damaging their car by standing and moving on the roof? Let me know down in the comments. It looks like it disappears from nothing, right though. Next door. Forget standing on roofs. It looks like it just appears, and then it's standing on a roof. And then it goes, ah, I can do this too. It turns into Nimbus. Last one. And then... You ready? I retire. Are you ready? Yeah. This next video comes from a ready, TikTok ready. page that is completely unrelated to anything paranormal. TikTok user Nicolas Lorenzon from Argentina normally just shares videos of his family, travel, workouts, cars, and motorcycles. But one day out of curiosity, Nicholas decides to explore an abandoned house in his city that is said to be haunted. Just he jokingly walks through the building, all of a sudden. shouting and pretending to be the police. It's not until he reviews his footage later that he discovers something truly bizarre. Policia, policia. What is this? Que miedo. What is it? Someone or something can be seen watching Nicholas from a doorway before quickly disappearing out of sight. Nicholas has no idea who oh. or what he captured on that night. And he didn't notice or have a more direct encounter with this. That is disgusting when you look at that. Like that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you never miss oh, a video. Outro, My Instagram is here. My Twitter is there. And TikTok. That's um the first one of this year we've watched, isn't it? Mm. That yeah, that's been released this year. Mm. If that's what Nuke's gonna do <laughs> this year, because he released one two weeks ago, but we haven't watched it yet. And if that's what Luke's gonna do this year, then we're gonna need a lot more um, water. I've ordered a few and things I'm, for the water. So. I'm gonna need to go on Google and type in therapists near me. There was like. Fair of who? Therapists. Fair of piss? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. That was quite fun.
Was it? There was that four in that that made me like. <laughs> it was the, it was the you getting up that killed me. <laughs> I hate stuff like that. I hate. Dead. Why do people make those videos? What's, what's the point? What is the point? So that people do what you do and just get up and walk out of cinemas. Cinemas. <laughs> I get. It's not. I get it if it's in a horror movie. It makes sense. But when Nuke's just like, oh, this guy's riding home and oh, he nearly hit someone. I was like, oh, that is a very weird video. Oh, there's no one there. And then as soon as he got home, I was like, oh yeah, it's happening. Um, that by definition, your reaction made that a, a horror film. It just wasn't a very long one. To make sure your eyes are peeled. <sighs> Do the outro so I can delete the channel. <laughs> wow uh, um, if you like the video like the video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already you can join to support the man in even further I'm gonna say touch wood that we return because someone really wants to resign <laughs> what about if we get a sponsor I'm just gonna react to Disney movies what about if we get a, uh, a lifetime supply of uh, adult diapers for you I thought he was going to say something I actually want then. <laughs> <laughs> I already have that. Uh, click the bell if you haven't already for notifications. Please. No, I got a flow. When I react, the man's got cold. When I react, the man's got gold. You look up, be at stick it in your reacts. It was a big reacts, the man's got no. Anything goes, you know this year just gonna blow like I won't have it, you won't manage So I'm real, I'm sad like magic Part with a man that also savage 